this demonstration, we will go over how we can execute log on or log off scripts using GPOs. Let's create a script which we can use. I will open my text editor, which is the notepad, and then I will put some script in here. So for me to testing purposes, I'm basically going to ping my server 100 times every single time somebody log in. So this is not something you should be doing because this might create a ping flooding situation if you have hundreds of users logging into your network at the same time. This is just for testing purposes. So I'm just basically pinging 100 times my sanuja.local domain. I'm going to go file, save as. And I'll go to the desktop and I'm going to name this as logon underscore script dot ps1 and I'm going to change this as to all files as opposed to dot txt file and you can create this as a windows powershell file command prompt file dot bat bat file etc etc so for me I will be using the Windows PowerShell options. So I'm going to say logon underscore script dot ps1, which is the extension for the Windows PowerShell. And I'm going to save that and close it. Now we have a logon script right here. If you like to test it, you can actually test it by right clicking here and run with PowerShell. And that will test uh, the script that you wrote. So it's basically pinging my sandwich.local domain. So again, this is not something that you should be doing on your server this or your network. This is basically something to test out our logon and logoff scripts. Next thing I'm going to do is to open my server manager. Go to tools. Under tools menu, we will open our familiar group policy management console. And in here, we need to navigate to an OU in which we can apply this particular group policy. For me, I can apply at the very top here at the net IT geek OU, or I can apply under any of the uh, sub organizational units uh, right here. Keep in mind, this is a hierarchical system. So if you apply at the top level, it will apply to all the users and computers underneath it. But if you apply at a specific sub organizational unit such as for example HR it will only impact the users within the HR group so I'll be applying this particular GPO at the net IT geeks OU level so that it will apply to my entire organization so depending on your organizational policies you can apply wherever you like just pick an OU or pick your domain at the very top level and you can apply the policy up here as well so I'm gonna apply at this OU so I'm gonna right click and select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. I'm going to call this as logon script and then I'm going to say OK. So now we have created a GPO that is under the net IT geeks or you. I can right click on that GPO and click edit and it will open up our group policy management editor console. In here, I will navigate to user configuration section and then expand the policies, expand the Windows settings, and we see the scripts logon, logoff options. If I select that, on the right hand pane, we have the logon and logoff options showing. The settings for both of these are very similar to each other. So if I open up here, it's a similar thing and same it in here a similar thing you have scripts and powershell script you can use either options here as i mentioned before so the one that we are interested in right now is the logon scripts so i'm going to double click on this one and i can add my powershell script either to the script section or powershell script section it doesn't really matter if i do it in here or do it in here it doesn't really matter i will go with the PowerShell scripts because we can give specific order uh, to in which the PowerShell scripts can be uh, you know executed. 
If you have non-PowerShell script, you can still go through the same process. Simply you go to the scripts tab, click add, and then when you hit browse, it'll give you the server location in which the scripts needs to be uh, saved at. So this is where this, uh, this your scripts uh, for your server needs to be located at. So because I have a PowerShell script, I'm simply gonna go to the PowerShell script section. It just have an extra uh, few options that you can configure here uh, that otherwise, uh, you know, not available uh, on the general script. So if you have a .bat file or .cmd file, this is where you're gonna enter that. But I'm gonna go into the PowerShell because I have a PowerShell script. I'm gonna click add, I'm gonna click browse. And in here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy and paste my um, script that we have created. So we can open the file manager and I can go to desktop and I see my logging screen uh, script and I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna simply paste that to this particular location. So you don't need to remember where this location is because you can simply uh, go in here open your, uh, you know, log on scripts options under the uh, user configuration, Windows settings, uh, script section. And in here, you can either go to script tab or a PowerShell tab and click add. And then under browse, you will get into that particular location. So you don't need to remember where this syswall location is located. I'm gonna select the log on script right here, click open. And you can give certain parameters to this particular script if it requires some kind of a parameter to operate. So in my script, it doesn't have any parameters. It's just a ping script. I'm gonna click okay. So now we have that script. Because this is a PowerShell script and not a general purpose script like this, this one also have how this GPO should be run in what order. So you can give whatever the order with the operation should be done. So you can say run Windows PowerShell scripts first or run Windows PowerShell script last it doesn't really matter uh, which one you pick it depending on your configuration you can do that so for me i'm just gonna leave it uh, as run powershell script first um, but you can do whatever uh, configuration that is required for you to uh, get this thing running and the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna say apply and click ok now this gpo is done and i can close the group policy management editor so let's go to one of our Windows machines. I will go to our Windows 11 client. What I need to do first is to go to start menu and type CMD for command prompt, and then type GP update slash force, our familiar command, which will pull all our new group policies that we have created onto this machine. So once it is done, What we can do, we can close it and we can log out. So I'm gonna say sign out. And I'm gonna sign back in. And then the script is running. And we know the script is running because I also put a warning message. So otherwise you won't be able to see it. It says log on script uh, running. Uh, we can go back to also uh, one of our Windows 10 clients. And I can do the same thing, gp update slash force. It will do the exactly same thing. It will pull the group policies that has been changed. And once it is done, we can go in here, we can sign out this user and sign back in. And that should uh, run our new group policy with the script on it. So it says logon script uh, is running. Now, if this doesn't work, I recommend that you reboot your computer uh, the, or ask the user to completely shut down and boot back up because sometimes this type of logon scripts will not pull in and take into effect until the computer is completely cut off from the AD server and log back in. And I also want to point out uh, one more thing. The reason why you got that message is if I go back to my Windows Server, I actually edited my script. Um, I added a line, actually two lines, uh, that will give us a warning saying logon script running. 
The reason for that is otherwise you would not be able to see the script is running. So because this is in the lab environment for demonstration purposes, I want you guys to see that the script is actually running. So I'm not faking this or anything like that. So to do that, what I did actually when you uh, log in uh, to here, that script going to pull up a message saying warning, log on script running uh, so that we know that this script is being actioned by our GPO. So I didn't do this at the very beginning of the video, but I just want to point out, you know, I had that two lines uh, just so that this demonstration is complete and everybody can see that the pinging is happening in the background. That's everything for today. If you have any questions or concerns regarding any of the topics that we have covered, please make sure to reach out to me. If you like these videos, thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a nice day.